So I'm here with Justine from the Arts College, and uh, first of all, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can you start us off by giving us a, a brief overview of what the Arts College is all about? Uh, okay, so the Arts College, we set up about, I think, eight years ago, uh, now based in Lansing, and we have art qualifications for children under 25, mm -hmm. um, and we have regular art sessions for children and adults, so it's like set up as a college. Um, and then we also have another side which promotes um, mindfulness for children and adults in art side of things, but without feeling like you're in a therapy session. Um, and out of this, basically the research and case studies for where we work with people have helped us create another area where people can either just come and speak creatively and have creative solutions to deal with their, their mindfulness and emotions. So uh, from a psychological perspective then, what can art bring to your students? Well, actually it's really interesting because we were talking about this the other day of how life has become so fast paced. So you think mm -hmm. of like chat GPT, all these kinds of things. Yeah. It's as a society dumbing us down. Yeah. So what's happening is now we're not, we're losing our foundations. We're losing how to go back to basics, all these kinds of things. So with the art projects, what they do is they teach you to go back to basics, go back to foundation, and then um, find a solution during the process. So in our minds, we've only got one way to deal with things. When you're doing art, it teaches you to go a multiple way of dealing with okay. things. And um, alongside, uh, obviously, you're seeing people in person every single week, but you've just launched an online application, haven't you? And uh, that's enabled you to get access to the globe, hasn't it? Tell us more a bit about that. Yeah, I mean, this was quite scary. It was a two-year journey, and we were crying in between, which was a good thing. Um, <laughs> more because like, like technology, and like, how do I deal with this? But it is how could we get out there and make things simple for everybody else? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't, when they hear art, they cry, and they go, so they, they put up their hands and go, I'm not doing this. But um, with the app, it's ways that you can just take a pen and in your diary as a bu busy business person, how you can bring mm -hmm. yourself back into balance quickly. Yeah. So we've got things like colour yourself into Zen, which is or, or mindfulness, which is for people who like colouring and colour and templates that you download. Okay. Then we've got one for people who just, it's like gym for the mind. So instead of going to the gym, you're yeah. putting in a... a, a fit, a system in of doing a gym for your mind, basically, okay. um, through simple questions and practices that you apply every day. And uh, finally, in terms of um, uh, back to the, the, the college itself and, and, and your art classes, what sort of range do you have? Are, are they all accredited classes? Uh, well, the, the, if you're going for qualifications, yes, because we, we're um, hosted through Trinity College and mm -hmm. they do all the qualifications. And then we have, obviously, those who just want to come and attend you know, um, to develop their skills still yes, or their okay. life skills. So they can either choose a set course of 12 weeks or they can attend for the year and they sign up for the year. Um, and then they keep levelling up each year in what they do. Well, congratulations on your award and thank you very much for speaking to us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.